Alright, family and friends, this is Rob the Sapper Gardener representing Essiance Family Garden. And I am happy to be doing our first garden update of 2020. I've done a lot of cooking videos, a lot of unboxing lately, but I haven't done much of anything garden related other than uh, talking about seeds. And today we're not actually going outside in the garden. We're going to show what we have already started. It's January. We've started some of our seeds indoors and some of our crops. So I'm just going to do a real quick review of some of uh, what we have. Uh, our friend uh, Hope at Cedaholic asked us, you know, what are we doing in January? So let me turn you guys around and give you a look at what we've got going in the Sapper Cave. Alright, so hopefully you guys can see what I'm seeing. Uh, I had to turn our new grow lights off, which I'll be doing a review of the Grow Star grow lights up here and down there. We were asked to review those, and uh, I don't like to review things just in a day. I like to have it for a while, so uh, hopefully next week I'll be able to do a review on those for you guys and let you know what we think about them and if anybody else is interested how to get those but we've got a little bit of everything started already we're doing uh lots of microgreens we got salad mix here we've got some uh wheat grass over here we've got some mung beans up there so hopefully you guys can see all those. We have started a bunch of uh, sweet potato slips, which we've got some uh, purple sweet potatoes here that were gifted to us by our friend Colleen. And we've got a Murasaki sweet potato, I believe this is, here that was also gifted to us by our friend Colleen. And of course some uh, house plants. And we're going to try to redo some of our ubi here, if you can see there. More house plants. Our jewel weed, which we are trying to start. If you guys can see it. Get out of the way, house plant. So we've got a jewel weed. We're growing from seeds given to us by Miss Tammy at Little Jordan Farm. We've got a couple of bay laurel plants here that we intend to keep one as a house plant and one will go outside once it warms up we'll transplant it so hopefully we can have bay leaves year round and we have seeded just a day or two ago some uh, onions so we'll hopefully have sweet onions popping up we've got over here, what I was looking forward to is the American flag leek that were gifted to us by, I think these were given to us by our friend uh, Dave Pruitt. And they have popped up quick. We planted these about three, four days ago, and you can already see the growth in this tray. And over here in this corner, We've potted up some shishito peppers, and they are all doing good. We did two per tray, and I think we got six trays, and we've got 11 plants right now. So all but one seed germinated, which is really good. We've got some Mexi Bell peppers, which we just put out that hopefully they will germinate. Uh, we got this from a supplier online, so... Anytime you buy from an Amazon place that is not known to you, you're taking a chance. So we'll see how they do. And we got more sweet potatoes here, which we are growing for slips. And you can see the slips have already started popping out on these. We also have the same variety here, which we've got one slip on one potato which if you can see over in the corner well maybe you can't see trust me there's one slip popping out and we also have 
another sweet potato slip growing in this container and we just got some from our friend uh, Colleen again a Japanese Satsumi sweet potato and a local Hawaiian sweet potato which we took one of each to grow slips from we have seeded our pigeon peas early just a few plants to start off with we've got three in the back row and two here in the uh, clear solo cups and we've also got two pieces of taro root that we're growing in there and of course I guess I should have mentioned we're trying to grow a pineapple we ate from the store and we'll see how that does and we've got our uh, fig cuttings that we got from the newbie gardener with a plastic dome over it and it's on a heat mat so we're hoping that those do well one thing that I wish I had done which our friend uh, lead farmer 73 had mentioned in one of his videos when he does his cuttings he puts them in clear cups like these so that you can see if there's root growth in there instead of having to pull the whole cutting out seeing if anything's on it and then putting it back so we are hoping that all these figs are doing well we're keeping them uh, moist we're keeping them under the humidity dome we're keeping them keeping them on the heat mat but we'll know in spring when we get ready to transplant them into individual pots and we also have started our moringa which is down on the bottom shelf they are on a heat mat and they are exposed to light we just have the light off for this video which hopefully you can still see them and just last night i uh, sowed some roselle red seeds here with the red tag and hopefully those do well for us our roselle did not do well last year that we got from our friend uh uh, Danny at Dan Organic Food Forest, now Dan Permaculture Food Forest. But we're going to try them again and we're going to hopefully do everything right this time. Keep them on heat, keep them uh, with plenty of light, and start them early enough that we get some good results from those. And we have a couple of other plants here in these. Uh, uh, one of them is a pollinator from our friend Colleen. Uh, the other one is a type of spinach, and we're hoping that they do well. We just uh, put them in water now to hopefully revive them from the shipping, and we'll be potting these up individually uh, probably this weekend. And I guess the last plant that we have to show is our comfrey. We uh, split our comfrey... Uh, month or so ago and there's sapper pup maggie sniffing at my butt sorry maggie i wasn't supposed to tell him that but we split our comfrey and we shared it with a bunch of our friends and i just miscalculated when i was uh, dividing it up to send out and we had one left and i had the bright idea to uh, keep one in the house for our chickens. So this one as it grows we just snip off the stalks We give a few to our chicken. We do still have some comfrey out in our garden because of the unseasonably warm weather But uh, I've done this before when we've had uh, new chicks. I would keep a comfrey plant in I would uh, cut off a stalk and I would give it to the chicks so that they would have some greens so a little bit going on uh, one other thing I forgot our challenger true potato seed we got it started last night or we got it into cups and seeded last night so it's sown and we are hopefully going to get some true potato seeds that we can use uh, moving forward in our garden we'll create a, a bed just for this one because it really takes a couple of years according to our friend uh, Rob or Cajun Rob at Prime Cajun for these to do well so we have those and I think that's about it so 
little bit started already. Uh, we're ready to get things going out in the garden, but yeah, this is a good start to kind of get the habit going. So, yeah, hope that's what we got going. And I probably forgot something that I'll remember after the camera goes off. But I think that's enough for now. We uh, don't have a ton of room. I've got a bunch of stuff on the shelf now as far as uh, uh, garden supplies and whatnot. That once I move those off, we'll make room for more seed starts to get everything going before summer gets here. I actually did forget one tray which i can't see the marker which we'll just get to the next time so real quick update from the sapper cave on our garden starts for 2020 uh we have a lot of other stuff i actually got some uh, new trays from bootstrap farmer here that are specifically made for micrograins they're a lower tray they're a one inch tray so we can more easily cut off our microgreens instead of these deeper trays like this one. Where is it? So these are, I guess, two inch trays. So when you get ready to cut off your microgreens, you can't cut as low as you can in the one inch tray. Where am I at? Oh, there I am. So quick update. Uh, we're always getting new stuff, trying new stuff. And uh, just getting ready to have fun in the 2020 garden. So, as always, it's Rob, the Sapper Gardener, representing Essiance Family Garden. God bless our great country, America. God bless you, wherever you may reside around the world, your garden, your harvest, your kitchen, your meals, and especially your family to have health, success, and prosperity as we do. Take care. Sapper out.